Hi, my name is David Miller, and I'm the Applications Manager for the Shark family of floating point processors here at Analog Devices. We recently announced two new members to the Shark processor family, the Low Cost 2148X and the Low Power 2147X. Today, I am introducing the new ADZS 21489 and 21479 EasyKit Lite development platforms for these new processors. EasyKit Lights are an inexpensive means to explore the capabilities of these new Shark processors and Visual DSP++, ADI's processor development tool suite. The EasyKit Lights come with everything you need to get started, including a standalone board, a power supply, USB cable, and an evaluation version of Visual DSP++. Several example programs that can be compiled and run on the Shark evaluation boards are included with Visual DSP++. The examples can be used to evaluate the Shark processor and also as a framework for development of customer applications. Additionally, there are many more examples and algorithms available on the ADI website. These EasyKit lightboards have several features in common, such as 256 megabits of SD RAM, 32 megabits of parallel flash, and 16 megabits of SPI flash. In addition, the boards feature an AD1939 codec. SPDIF circuitry, and expansion connectors. EasyKit lights come with a standalone debug agent. This is a small daughter card that attaches to the bottom of the EasyKit light board and provides the debug capabilities of an ICE. For those who already have an ICE, the EasyKit is available without the debug agent. This product is called a Shark Easy Board. Now let's fire up the board and run a few demos. We'll be using the ADZS21479 EasyKit light for these demos. Analog Devices includes a set of examples with the tool suite that gives a good starting point to taking advantage of the features of the Shark processor. And of course, users can develop their own applications and run them on this platform. Over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to go through three examples of the power of the Shark processor and this evaluation platform. First, we will take a look at a simple audio talk-through example. Following that, we will look at a more complex audio example that takes advantage of some of the audio-specific features of the Shark. And finally, we will look at an industrial and instrumentation example that takes advantage of the pulse width modulation units on the Shark processor. To run this first example, we go to the examples folder in the Visual DSP++ tools directory. Each of these examples comes with a project file that can be opened in Visual DSP++, compiled, and loaded onto the evaluation board. This first example is an audio talk-through program. This example exercises the audio circuitry on the evaluation board. Here, we are getting an analog input through one of the two ADCs of the 1939 codec. This example passes the digital signal through the Shark processor and back out to two of the four DACs on the 1939 and connected to these speakers. This example could be used as a framework for development for post-processing algorithms. In the second example, we are using a slightly different project. In this example, we are taking one analog input and one digital input from the SPDIF interface. The hardware asynchronous sample rate converters, or ASRCs, on the Shark convert the sample rate of the digital signal to match the sample rate of the codec. This shows the capability of the Shark to mix two signals from different clock domains. At your next opportunity, move into the right lane. Turn right at the next intersection. What you hear is the combination of these two audio streams. In the final example, we are taking advantage of the pulse width modulation units on the Shark. The PWM units are commonly used in motor control applications. The Shark has four PWM units, and each can provide up to four signals. Here we are using two PWM units in different modes just to show some of the flexibilities of the Shark. The first unit is in the edge align mode and produces the signal shown on the top of the screen. The second is in the center align mode producing the signal on the bottom of this screen. When enabled at the same time, these units produce signals that are phase shifted by 90 degrees and are set up to have the same frequency with 50% duty cycle. Thank you for taking the time to learn about our latest Shark products and evaluation platforms. For information about ADI's full portfolio of digital signal processors, software development tools, and support, visit us at www.analog.com.